Thank you to all the families at home that are joining us for the Mother's Day liturgy this afternoon. And it is a special liturgy acknowledging all the mothers and the grand grandmothers in the children's lives. Hopefully, as I said this morning at the Infants Liturgy, this is the last time that we actually Zoom to families at home. We really are wanting to welcome you back in real person and it would be lovely for you to be able to be part of the Liturgy and to see the children, not virtually. Just I'd like to also thank Mrs Signorella and the staff and all the children that have done anything to be part of this Mother's Day Liturgy today. Thank you for the effort and I hope that the families at home listening appreciate all the work that's gone on behind. Just I'd like to speak on a personal note, as a mum and a grandmother, that's one of the most special gifts that a person that I think I've ever got. It's something that I treasure very much and I feel very blessed to be a mum and a grandmother and I don't ever take that for granted. Just to the children, I'd like to say, make sure on Mother's Day on Sunday that you take the time out. I often talk to you about hugging your mums, but take the time out to give them a hug and a big kiss and to tell them that you love them and thank them for everything they do for you because that's really important that they know that you are thinking about everything they do because they do lots of things for you every day. So please give them a big hug and a kiss and tell them you love them because that means a lot. Thank you very much. Of all the gifts that life has to offer, a loving mother is the greatest of them all. Today we welcome all who have joined us in to celebrate the woman in our lives. For the womb, we are so thankful. Today we thank and praise God for all the mothers, the givers of life, the ones who make a difference to our life. It is through love, mothers, grandmothers, and prayer mothers, we experience the God's love. We also thank God and pray, we also thank and praise God for Jesus, Born of Mary, our, he our Heavenly Mother, Mary was a great role model for our, mo for our motherhood. Let us pray. Loving Lord, as we celebrate Mother's Day, hear our prayers for our mothers, grandmothers, caring mothers, and all mothers around the world. Be their companion along the pathway of life. Help them to live in reliance on your goodness and in thankfulness to you. Give them patience in abundance and let them find joy and satisfaction in all their daily work. Protect them from evil and harm. Let their faith and love be strong. May their families honor them, them always with a, with a spirit of love and respect. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to a town in Galilee named Nazareth. He had a message for a young woman promised in marriage to a man named Joseph, who was a descendant of, the, of King David. Her name was Mary. The angel came to her and said, Peace be with you. The Lord is with you and has greatly blessed you. Mary was deeply troubled by the angel's message, and she wondered what his words meant. The angel said to her, Don't be afraid, Mary. God has been gracious to you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the most high God. The Lord God will make him a king as his ancestor David was, and he will be the king of the descendants of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. Mary said to the angel, I am a virgin. How then can this be? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and God's power will rest upon you. For this reason, the Holy Child will be called the Son of God. Remember your relative Elizabeth. It is said that she cannot have children, but she herself is now six months pregnant, even though she is very old, for there is nothing God cannot do. 
I am the Lord's servant, said Mary. May it happen to me as you have said. And the angel left her.
human calculator because she always knows the answers to questions. My mom is intelligent because she can answer all my questions. When I get in trouble, my mom locks me in my room like Jay. My mom knows when I'm lying. It's like she's reading my mind. Maybe I should call her my My mom is lovely because she bought me a laptop and she is letting me keep it on. My mom is magnificent because she gets me the best food that I like. My mom is a clean bitch and goes nuts when the room is not clean. My mom is always organized with everything, even my underpants. It drives me nuts. My mom is pretty in every way. My mom is like a queen because she owns a huge castle and can't get in the house. My mom roars like a tiger when she is super mad at me. My mom has a stunning sense of style because she always knows what fancy clothes to wear. My mom is so talented because she gets up at 8 o'clock, 4 days straight to take me to every single one of my school games. It drives her nuts. <laughs> my mom is unbelievably rich because she likes to buy designer bags and perfumes along with some nice clothes. My mom practically lives off coffee. She's like a vacuum, slapping it all up. My mom wants my mom to go to work. Excellent, excellent. I love kisses and the hugs from my mom. My mom is as young as a flower because she is beautiful and healthy. Whenever my mom leaves my room, it turns into a zoo. <laughs> Loving, caring, and amazing mom that I have ever met in my entire life. You make the best homemade food that I've ever tasted, and for all the things you have done for me, I just want to say thank you and I love you forever and ever. I'm when I play on my PS4, but I still love you and I always will. You stare at me in amazement when you see me before ballet. You explore every inch of my room when it's as messy as a pigsty. 
You are as bright as the sun that shines on a crystal blue sky on a summer's day. You know my passion with dancing in the air. You impact my love by loving me back like a mother lion. You help me revolve in the darkest moments and help me see the light. Filled with happiness, Mom. You launch your kindness and love up to me. Fun, brave, special, loving, and inspirational mom and woman. You soar through the sky and rise in my heart. You listen to my conversations with my friends, but I still love you more than anything. Most inspirational and creative mom. Come to help me. Thank you so much for being there for me. This is why I will love you forever. Love from you. You inspire me how beautiful you are and you're how kind you are. You see the inspiration inside me to try my very best. I'm a shining star full of happiness when I clean my room. You gratitude to the coffee machine every morning, which makes you smile and makes me happy. You transform me every step of the way of my life. You believe that I can do my best in soccer. Love you, Mom. You inspire me to be the best person I can be. You encourage me to be the best person and to stay proud. You, you challenge me to do extended learning. Students in your five are given. The year six students know they can be challenged by their parents. We are also aware that things aren't going to get much better once we become teenagers. This short play is to help our moms through those challenging times. I told you a million times, just do it. Just do it. No, I don't want to hear excuses. Just do it. I think it will be the best thing for you. Just do it. What? What? You should keep it. Kids! Another one? Are you kidding me? You ready? I think you're being funny, dude. Well, not in the mood for jokes, I'm sorry. You know what this represents? The fucking chills have run out again. No, laziness, pure laziness. If they can't do this, then they won't get a job. If they don't get a job, they won't get a house. If they don't get a house, they'll be homeless. And then they'll be stealing stuff from Kmart. That just goes a bit heavy. Just come and sit down. Sitting down is not going to help. Sit down and sit down in your mind. They just don't listen to me. I've told them six times for this to be picked up. Just hold no, this won't help. You don't understand. But if I, if I could just... No, you don't understand. You're not a mom. You don't know what it's like. Well, actually, I have to look after a lot of people. Everybody listens to you. Well, not really. Well, I just feel like these kids are wasting their lives. No one told you he's gonna. No one told you that being a mom is gonna be hard, was it? This is I'm a failure. If they can't change the toilet roll, how are they ever meant to change a nappy or a tire or bad habits? Who was that? That was you as a child. Want to know what you were doing? What? You were coming out of the bathroom. I want to know what you weren't doing. You can have this. Changing the toilet roll, even though you've been asked a hundred times. And look, you turned out beautifully. I'm overreacting, aren't I? You're tired. That's what a mom does to you. Here's what. What if you give me your what ifs? What ifs? You know, what ifs. Like, what if your son gets a bad haircut? What if your son 
doesn't get any better at math. You know, those sort of things. I've got a lot of them. Just give them to me. How did I become such a mess? I picked you. I picked you to be their mom. That was on purpose. I can keep these safe. I promise. The year six students know they can be. We would now like to share with you some of our mom's favorite phrases. Clean your room or I'll throw everything out. Take care of your brothers. I love you, Natal. That's my TV. You're going to high school next year. Grow up. <laughs> Put your full sleeve pants on. It's cold at school. Do your homework first. Get along with your sister. Do the laundry. I've been waiting for three days. Make your bed. Give me a cuddle, Bob. Don't tell your dad. Clean your room. As he's up. Ask your dad. Do the dishwasher, Chase. Shush, I need to have a nana nap. Jib is ship ship with Ali. Get off your iPad and go to bed. We would now like to share with you some of our mom. So thank you everyone for all those performances from Year 3 to Year 6. We, saw some, we heard some great singing, some great poetry, some great acting, and um, I especially loved hearing all about the things your mums, or what you love about your mums and Year 6. Those ones about um, the mother phrases, I think I nodded my head to about 80% of the ones that you um, identified in that last section, and I still say the same things. Um, but thank you again. So let us bring ourselves back to the presence of the Lord and we'll begin with our prayers of the faithful. God is faithful, always loving and listening to us. Let us bring our needs before God, confident in his help. Faithful God, mothers, show us what selfless love is. Help us to put the needs of others before our own needs, Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Faithful God, mothers are nurturers. May we learn to nurture one another to grow, to grow to become the best people we can become. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Faith in God, mothers protect those in their care. Help us to protect those who are weak and vulnerable in our school, our community and beyond. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Faithful God, mothers are people who give. May we learn to be givers and not takers. Generous with our time and talents for the good of others. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Faithful God, Mother, show us what selfless love is. Help us to put the needs of others before our own needs. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear the heartfelt prayers we pray and those unspoken in our hearts. Amen. We just go to talk. Almighty God, today we are grateful. Grateful for your goodness, creating to watch over us and ears to listen to our joys and struggles, our laughter and tears. You gave them legs to run to us when we fall and arms to pick us up again. 
Christian mothers, that the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honour them always with a spirit of profound respect. Grant this through Christ our Lord, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you everyone. That concludes our primary Mother's Day liturgy and little celebrations. Um, just want to say to all you boys and girls um, out there in classrooms that are watching me now, just remember, it's a very special weekend for your mums and your carers or whoever looks after you. Show them love, be respectful, do lovely things from them. I won't say just Sunday, I'll say all weekend. I would also say that Mother's Day should be Mother's Day every day of the year because we are special. But look after your mums, be kind, be nice to each other. Just being nice to each other makes your parents happy and your mums happy. So have a great weekend. Breakfast in bed would be great. I'm sure mothers would love that. Um, and I will see you soon. And hopefully next liturgy, um, we'll be back in the hall and celebrating as a whole school community. Thank you.